Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Striker, your guide to cleaner, greener beauty, skincare, and beyond. I try products up for you, share my honest reviews so you have a better idea of what to buy and what not to buy. Today I'm talking about red lipsticks. These are my all-time favorite red lipsticks in the clean beauty space right now. Fall is here, but I actually really love a red lip year-round. If you want to learn more about my favorites and watch me try them on, stick around and let's get it. Still, there are three red lipsticks. They're all a little different in terms of the shade of red. One is a little bit cooler, one is a little bit more warm with a coral undertone, whatever. There's a lot of different ways of doing a red lip. They're going to be back for fall. They never went away in my life. Lipstick has always just been something that I get kind of into. I don't usually have an emotional attachment to certain types of makeup like eyeshadow, liner. I love a good bronzer, but for me, a red lip, it's sort of a power move. I tend to use it when I'm not feeling my best or just when I'm feeling like I need sort of my superhero care. But let's just kick it off with my first favorite, which is from Vapor Beauty. I haven't talked about them in a really long time. Well, no, that's not true. I just did a update of that foundation, which I still love. But anyway, this is the high voltage lipstick in shade Adore. This is the most expensive of the bunch. It's $30 for a lipstick, which I know is insane. I actually got this as a part of a gift with purchase, so I didn't have to buy it separately. I just bought some product on Detox Market and they have amazing gift with purchases, or they used to. So I haven't seen one in a bit, but holiday's coming. Keep an eye out. It was full of full-size products. It was just really, really good, and I rack up those points fast. This is not sponsored. This is just a tip after shopping in so many places. This is the red that has sort of a coral undertone to it. It's like a burnt orange undertone. It's beautiful. It's I haven't seen a lot of colors like this. As I mentioned, I'm going to try them on as I talk to you, which should be interesting. Here we go, let's pop this on. It is drier when you first apply it, but it's very velvety in finish. So this isn't the kind that's gonna swipe on and feel slick and smooth and super silky, but I still love it. Beautiful matte finish. It's like, hi, I'm awake. Hey, how are you? I'm here, I've entered the room. I also cannot feel it. Incredibly lightweight in terms of lipstick and a very little amount goes a long way. The only thing is it's not super forgiving upon application. So if you wanna use a brush, that's fine. On the flip side, transfer is really not that bad. Although, I mean, it looks really bad actually on camera. It's actually not that dark in person. That's kind of fun. But you can blot it and maybe do a little bit of a dusting of translucent powder if you don't wanna have it sliding all over the place. That also is my mask trick. That's what I do. I just blot and then I apply a little bit of powder and then I blot again and you know, it just seems to work. I kinda of don't wanna take this off but I have three more to do. So I'm gonna remove this and get to the second pick. I mean, it comes off easily if you have avocado oil or any kind of cleansing oil, that'll work. I just used avocado oil and now we're on to the second pick. This next option is from 100% Pure. These are one of my, still to this day, they've been my favorite for a really long time actually, but they're still one of my favorites in the really bold, highly pigmented lipstick category. They have a fruit pigmented anti-aging lipstick. They also have their matte lipsticks. And I loved this matte lipstick when I first tried it. It is in shade Current. This has more of a cool undertone to it. So more of like a cool berry undertone. And it's also sort of muted as well because it's matte. These are $29, but they have been having sales like crazy. So I feel like you can get a good deal here problem with that is a lot of the colors will tend to sell out on 100% pure. They get back in stock. It's just a game we play and that's just what it is. But if you can't find this, they have a ton of shades available too that are just incredibly richly pigmented colors. Let's pop this on so you can see it. 29 bucks, a little bit creamier and easier to apply than the vapor. And you can just see automatically it's that pink raspberry undertone that I adore. 
And sometimes because I'm really lazy at applying makeup, I like to use a lip gloss wand, a doe foot applicator, to just act as a lip brush. I don't have to do that, I won't do that today, but that's just another thing I love to do. And if you want a little bit of shine on top of it, it works really well with other products. You do not have to fuss with this. Great multitasker as well. You can use it as a blush, especially this shade, I feel like lends itself to a nice blush. It'll really show up for you. And this one feels, like I said, it's a little bit more moisturizing, a little bit easier to apply, a little bit more forgiving. The key about the 100% Pure, well, outside of the vast array of shades that they have, is that I really do not know it's there too. It's very lightweight, it's non-drying. When I first tried it, after all of the other products I've tried, and I, I am a bit of a lipstick person, like glosses and lip balms and all the rest of it. So I was trying a lot of conventional products, especially the matte ones, I always found, you know, they'd be like long wear and 24 wear, you know, those had the worst ingredients too. Those would dry my lips out. Like it was painfully drying. I remember trying this thinking it was going to do the same thing and I was so blown away because it just feels great. It lasts very well throughout the day as well. It doesn't give that weird line around the mouth. It just soaks in. It's almost like it stains the lip, but it doesn't stick around as long as a stain. I love these. I have multiples of this lipstick. Again, because they're like buy one, get one half off. They have really good sales. So keep checking out their website for sales. Okay, the final one. This is a good one. Let me just take this off real quick. Again, I really don't like taking these off. I just wanna leave it on. Huh? See how it's still kind of there? That's what I'm talking about in terms of stain. The other thing to consider is if you just want a little bit of color on your lip, if you don't wanna have it too saturated, just a couple of dabs on top of a really moisturizing balm, beautiful option. It's really versatile, this one. Ugh. Okay, you can kinda of still see a little bit, but I can't, I'm just gonna, I don't wanna rub my, lips off my face. So let's move on to the final favorite. This is from a brand called Red Apple Lipsticks. I was gifted a ton of colors and I'm so glad I was because I went crazy over this brand. They've been on the Brits Picks list, which is back on the site, link below if you wanna see. Out of all the products I tried, those are my current favorites. They've been on there for a long time, multiple different colors. One of my favorite shades from them is Day After Morocco. It's such a gorgeous sort of pink, peachy color, oof, it's a good one for every day. I also happen to love their Red Apple Red. That's this right here, 25 bucks, so it's the least expensive of the bunch. And it's this classic sort of grenadine cherry red, you know? This is the classic red lip. Goes on so smooth, like butter. It feels the most moisturizing out of everything that I've tried. It is not matte, that's why, it has a different type of formula, a different type of performance, so I expected that. This red is just, it's just, it's just. It feels a little bit heavier on the lip, but it's far from heavy. It's just compared to the other two that I've tried. It feels like it is moisturizing my lips and providing really beautiful saturated color. This is just a gorgeous, it's just gorgeous. I highly recommend that you check out their other shades. They're really, really beautiful and they always feel good and they've lasted for a long time. I know you don't want to use these things forever, but oof, they feel good. It does smell in a very subtle way like the lipsticks used to smell. You know what I mean? It's very, very subtle. It's not off-putting at all. Speaking of smells and scents, since I know some of us really care about that, myself included, 100% pure, slightly fruity because it's fruit pigmented, and the vapor is just kind of there. It's very subtle. I can hardly smell anything, but it's not fragranced in any way, shape, or form. Those are my three favorite reds right now, especially headed into fall. I feel like they're gonna be fun for you to play with. The one additional red that I used to love and yet I never use anymore. It's from RMS. It's their Rebound lipstick. I've had that on my favorites a couple of times. I also like the shade Jezebel, which is a cooler red, but the Rebound was gorgeous as well. A little bit drier, but still the pigment and the payoff was stunning. The reason I haven't liked that lipstick in a while, it may have just been a batch issue, I don't know, but it was for a while where I was buying these lipsticks from different retailers and they would go bad and just smell awful, just stale, real fast. We're talking like two weeks fast. And it got to the point where I just stopped sending it back to Credo. They were great customer service. They're like, whoa, 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 let us know the batch number. Okay, we'll send you a new one. And every new one I got, it just went bad so fast. And for the amount of money, it just was like, why am I doing this? I have great options without this. I haven't tried them in a while. I don't know if they're any better because I've been a little bit 
hesitant to go back in that direction. But these three, they're great. And I feel like you get the most versatility from the 100% pure. If you wanna invest in something but you wanna get a lot of wear out of it for that amount of money, I highly recommend this. And that's pretty much it, that's all she wrote. Mwah. If you have a favorite red lipstick, do share in the comments below, I would love to know. Right, I'm gonna go put these away, get back to testing, and I will see you all right back here real soon. Until then, bye.